What is up, everyone, and welcome back to some more Mass Effect 3. The last one was crazy. We took down a Reaper with the Geth and the Quarians working together. Now that the Geth have a mind of their own, and they can they can make choices for themselves now, and they have Reaper code in them, which is really cool. So we'll see how this all goes. Legion sacrificed himself, sadly. Oh. In this one, we'll be heading back to the Citadel. So let's jump into it. Oh, this was always here, right? I can't remember. <laughs> I feel like they pop up randomly. And I'm losing my mind. The game's gaslighting me. <laughs> I found something. Oh. Give me that fuel that I didn't need. <laughs> Bam. Geth have been encountered in the Hecate system. All civilian traffic is prohibited. But now it'll be fine. It's gonna be great. What a spot for me. Bam. What'd we get? Hong Kong? Lions forget Hong Kong. <laughs> nice. I'm out of here. Goodbye. Oh, this is tiny. Signal confirmed. <laughs> Let's see. Up here. What will you be? Prothean Sphere. I'm out of there. The Reapers won't even know I came through here at this rate. <laughs> I found something. Okay, maybe they might not. <laughs> they are really angry now. <laughs> this way. Boop. Leipzig. Nice. More war assets. I'll take this fuel and go. Be on my only a hundred. Fine. Better than eluded. <laughs> Hopefully enough to get here. Definitely. Signal confirmed. Got double signal there. Obelisk of Karza. Nice. We're gonna have a nice time on the Citadel. <laughs> and I'll grab this fuel. Thank you. And I'm out of here. Goodbye. Oh, there's a lot here. Let me go around first. So, might have all the stuff I need <laughs> so I can make my list smaller. emerged from the dark space near the Cilian Nebula Cluster and established a front in the Loropi system. The Asari fleet that guarded what used to be known as Espoto Station cannot be found. It is scattered and destroyed. One can only hope the backup reactors in the Kleptodon system do not fall, or, this Asari, or the Asari fleet will have precious little fuel. I found something. I had a feeling <laughs> it was gonna be this one. Our Molly sniper unit. Nice. I will take that. Got a lot of reading to do. Nice. 
definitely enough. To get Faster than light jump successful. Over here. Signal confirmed. Look on. Might as well grab it really quick and then go scan these two, which is probably one of these. <laughs> yep. <laughs> drilling and educational institutions while the planet's average temperature hovers near freezing the equatorial band contains oceans and many freshwater rivers xenobiologists of all stripes often visited the planet as its expensive expansive facilities were a haven for the life of sciences the reapers destroyed Haitiana's spaceports and its uniform defense forces as with other asari planets the reapers forced the heavy heavily biotic population into surrender through thrusts of massive retaliation rather than assault by husks alone interesting Asian successful. And on to Fontis. I found something. The Elcor homeworld. Dakuna. Overflows with natural resource protected by law from large deposits of precious metals to vast forests, the Alcor themselves live in a rich grassland near the equator. The majority of Dakuna settlements are tucked within the belt. As the uh, conservative Alcor feel little to desire to build outside their comfort zone, the twin capitals are for migrations from the wet season to the dry season, a tradition made obsolete by modern technology but still observed. After the destruction of the Alcor Navy, Reapers moved in their ground troops to occupy the cities. This has taken longer than most civilized worlds, as the Alcor have spread out into smaller distant settlements reflecting their preference for close-knit family communities instead of densely packed cities. Code of the Ancients. Ooh. It all happened so fast. Hopefully I can get out of here. Barely. <laughs> Reapers eluded. Really close. Oh yeah, so look how far this is. No oh, god. Jesus. Could you be any further away? Signal confirmed. On both of them. Vibrant green planet and home to thriving Asari colony, sandy beaches, romantic twin moons, feel of bustling tourism economy, while practical and secretive corporate matters are handled in spiraling arcologies built along towering cliffs. Even though it's been colonized for centuries, Nevos feels a frontier away from regulation and oversight. Consequently, a number of influential political lobbies have established sizable presence on the planet. sure about that one. What do you have for me? Oh, credits. Nice. Thanks for the credits. Please give me a lot. Nice, that's a pretty good amount. Okay, I'll be on my way now. Back here so that we can get these fuel reactors. And then head back to the Citadel. Let's go. I think it's a garrison Liara day. <laughs> oh. Shepard, about 72 hours ago, the reactors at a joint Turin Asari fuel depot went offline. Scans at the station are cold. It's deserted. What happened to the troop station there? Unknown, but no fuel means no fleet presence in this theater. The enemy will operate unchecked. I need you to get in there, find out what's going on, and get those reactors back online. Captain Riley's on site doing preliminary recon. She leads one of our top engineering teams. Okay. 
We'll get to the bottom of this, Admiral. Good, hack it out. See ya, hack it. Commander, Corporal Nyrek reporting. Captain Riley is on point waiting for you. Sounds good. Hi. How long have you served in this outfit, Corporal? Three tours. Been through thick and thicker. The Captain always sees us through. That's good. Stay sharp today. Always, Commander. <laughs> I'll definitely be taking that. Medical treatment plan. Treatment plan for chemical burns. Ooh. This is pretty detailed. Sounds definitely useful. You guys hiding anything back here? Oh, you always are. I got it now. Roll. We need a radiation workaround, I'm soldier. Guessing that's you. On it, ma'am. Confirming. Toxic radiation cutting access to most of the grid. Survival in hotspots, not possible. Yeah, I don't think I want to go down there either. <laughs> I'll pass. <laughs> okay, let's go talk. Captain Riley? Commander, it's an honor. Commander, Captain Riley has me scanning the facility. It's a dual reactor system, so you'll have to break up into two teams. Okay. Roger that. The fuel rods for both reactors need to be unlocked before we can initiate a restart. Your route is blocked. Captain Riley's man is working to clear the obstacles. Understood, Lieutenant. Got it, Captain. Good work, Coslow. I'll take it from here. Okay. Ready your team to hit reactor two, Captain. Got it. We'll cover you till you're clear. Oh. Interesting. Okay, hold on. Let me just look around really quick. Before we touch anything. So, that's down there. Okay. So, you guys come in here. Um. Oh, it's gone now. Team 2, moving out, Commander. Good luck, Captain. There were a hundred Turians stationed here. Now, nothing. Even the bodies are gone. Actually thankful for that. Radiation proximity warning, Commander. Ow! At all costs. I didn't even notice I was in the thing. <laughs> Thanks for the warning. Uh, maybe we should move it more in the middle, then. Child they are. Oh, I see, I see. There we go. Now we can get I have a visual on the fuel rod control, but radiation. Is blocking access. I can Same try situation to here. I'll find a way to vent the area. This looks like ventilation control. Should do the trick. Radiation clearing. Console now accessible. Let's unlock those fuel rods. This area is so big, though. Should I go?
status. One casualty, but we're clear here. Warning. Coolant leaks detected. Reactors one and two. System restart impossible. Oh, great. I can see it. You both have to seal all the moderator tanks. These? I see the reactor two tanks moving to seal. Tank one. Nice. <laughs> Seems to be working. Anyways. Only one more to go here. Yeah, one in here too, I think. Let me just grab a couple of things. Oh. Or nothing. Damn it. I was hoping there'd be something. <laughs> Garrus. Garrus, I'm counting on you. You on got this. <laughs> oh, God. Maybe I <laughs> Through. I 
this way. Oh. Okay. Commander, you saved our asses. My team is in your debt. Thank Garrus. She <laughs> did. <laughs> she did. Okay. Well. We did it. I'll see you guys later. You look cool, by the way. I love your outfit. Job well done. Tent. Report back to the shuttles. Good work down there, Shepard. Without that depot, the entire theater would be at risk. What are the odds the Reapers will be back? I'm allocating a task force to maintain and defend the facility. If the Reapers come back, we'll be ready. I read Captain Raleigh's report. It says she and her team wouldn't have made it without you. I'm glad I could help. I'll keep you posted on new developments. Hack it out. Bye-bye. Uh, all right, here's another one. It uh, dates oh, back to the Rachni Wars. So, a Krogan and a Solarian have landed on a Rachni world for a top secret mission. That is unlikely. Solarians <laughs> rarely took part in raids on Rachni occupied worlds directly. <sighs> Missing the point. So, the two guys are climbing up a hill going through this nasty green fog. And as they get near the top, they come out of the fog, and the Solarian sees thousands of Rachni. He looks over at the Krogan and says, Oh, well, that makes me nervous. The Krogan says, you think that's scary? When this is over, I have to go back down through that fog by myself. The implication being that the Solarian soldier would be dead. Yes. Thank you for killing a 2,000 year old joke. <laughs> that joke plays to racial stereotypes on both sides. The Krogan appears brutish and insensitive, while the Solarian appears weak. Stereotypes such as exemplified here led to the development and use of the genophage. Well, well, yeah. It's also one of the only jokes you'll hear both Solarians and Krogan telling. Comedy isn't really about being nice. Sometimes it's a way to air out the ugly things people think. <laughs> Commander. Oh my god. Shepard, you are staring. Hello, Shepard. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> We're all machines. Carbon or silicon. Is there really a difference? People feel emotion. Artificial intelligence is programmed. Punch me, I get angry. I don't choose. I just get angry. Our emotions are programming. That's not the same thing. Our emotions are a natural response. Disease, parasites, lions ate their prey alive. Nature can be horrible. So now you're siding with the Reapers? Just because I'm saying the Reapers are alive doesn't mean I want them to stay that way. But we need to break free of nature and open our minds to new forms of life. So you believe the Geth share the same rights and liberties as any organic being? If that Geth is minding his own business, he has more rights than Cerberus. Despite my disgust for Cerberus, they're still human. The Geth are just machines. Genetics don't make us alive. It's our self-awareness, curiosity, and capacity to evolve. Well put, Commander. Of course you'd say that. You two are practically machines yourselves. <laughs> Good to see you, Commander. How are you, Commander? I'm How doing are you? good. I'm a sneezing man. A new notification is available on the private messages terminal. Email from Sergeant Kavanaugh. To Sergeant Ichi. Next time you want to warn me that the Geth are friends and that maybe we're not supposed to shoot the big robots. I almost pissed myself when these primes started dropping out of the sky and mopping up the Reapers. We fired a few rounds at them until we realized they weren't firing back. Then this one comes over and says they're allied assistants and asks us for our status. I'm not complaining they saved my crew, but I'm never living down having to apologize to Geth for shooting one of its damn lights off. <laughs> Oh my god. The Migrant Fleet and the Geth warships have joined Admiral Hackett. Hello again. This is exciting. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Oh, Garrus. Garrus. What are you up to? How's it going? How's it going? Damn it, Garrus. I didn't want to talk. Kenneth, you comment on every woman's figure but mine. Well, I... What? 
You don't like my legs? Gabby, it's you. You know? <laughs> no, chicken shit, I don't know. All you do is make stupid sexist comments to avoid saying anything real. Gabby, now's not the time. We've got work to do. Responsibilities. Ah, grow a pair, Ken. Look around you. Tomorrow may not come. Something to say or no? Gabby, please. We have a duty to the ship and the crew. What about us? Just... Listen to yourself. Kenneth, you comment on everything- We're not fighting this war for ourselves, Donnelly. We're fighting for the people close to us. Time is short. I see your point, Commander. Gabby, I think your legs are spectacular. <laughs> well, that's a start. Aww. More like Commander Ship. That's all I'm doing is shipping these relationships. Can't be. No. I guess that's right. Hey, Tally. How's it going? Oh, sorry. I didn't hear you. I just got communication from the fleet. Sorry. Uh, from Rannoch. In the old days, I'd send any new technology I found back to the fleet. I should probably be doing that with the agriculture samples now. I, I don't know anything about raising crops. How are your people doing? It's crazy. The Geth are... helping. Setting up housing, adapting power systems. They are doing in weeks what would have taken us years. Geth are even uploading into the suits of Quarian volunteers. They're rewriting environmental functions, jump-starting our immune systems. That doesn't seem possible. The Geth are software, not hardware. They can transfer themselves from a normal body into anything with enough processing power. They're mimicking infections, so the host can adapt without getting sick. It's like making a vaccine. That's awesome. So the Quarians won't have to wear those suits anymore? It doesn't seem possible, but yes, in a few years, with Geth improvements, we won't need them. We might still wear them. The suits have become part of our society. But a rupture won't be a death sentence. Today, on Rannoch, there are Quarian children who will grow up healthy and strong, thanks to the Geth. No. They owe that to you. No. I'd have killed the Geth with no regrets. And I'd have been wrong. Thank you. Okay. Aww. Hey, Shepard. Hi. Hey, Shepard. Hi. Oh. <sighs> I just want a big group hug. Is that too much to ask for? So, are you doing a story on the Asari? You want to talk to me in my office. The Ardak Yakshi? No. I think that story would be perfect for you. The hidden dark side of the most beautiful race in the galaxy. We have a huge Asari audience. If I do that story, I could lose them. That seems a bit like pandering. Ever seen how fast an e-democracy can abandon its allies? No. If I do my job, you won't. I'll talk to you in a second. <laughs> How you doing, Tariq? How do you see with only two eyes? Evolution has taken a strange turn in this cycle. <laughs> Your Joker pilot insists I call myself Prothe the Prothean. <laughs> I insisted he allow me to throw him out the airlock. <laughs> Commander. <laughs> Fucking Joker. <laughs> My new nickname for him, Prothy the Prothean. Sounded like quite an ordeal getting that Turian reactor up and running. I've been through worse. Well, glad you were able to get some help from Captain Riley's team. Sometimes I forget we aren't all alone in this war. The munitions you carry into the field deserve at least a triple check. Sir. Three hundred years it took to take back the Quarian homeworld. I sure as hell hope it doesn't take that long for us. It won't. I'm gonna make I'm sure I'm ready to it. see Earth again, Shepard. Me too. I still can't believe you went inside a Geth. I, I don't even... <laughs> loco. Completely loco. <laughs> hey. Hey. <sighs> Trust 
Trainer, if you're not doing anything, I've got a few hours free. Would you like to come up? Your cabin is gorgeous. I've seen apartments smaller than this. Well, Commander, ready to play? Play? I picked up a chessboard on the Citadel. Gooey interface, not nearly as nice as real pieces, but this takes up less space. And I recall you delivered something that closely resembled a challenge. So, interested? This is a trap, isn't it? I'm just a simple lab scientist, Commander. I'm sure your real-world expertise will give you an edge. Oh god. Who <laughs> will win? Come on, Shepard. Ha! Oh, come on! Damn it! <laughs> my word, Commander. It's almost as though you wanted to spare your pawns the indignity of living under my regime. In real life, that tactic would have worked. Well, in real life, one doesn't move on an 8x8 eight eight square grid. You know what I mean. The pawns are infantry. A good infantry line, like the Krogan, can take a charge like that. That reminds me of a joke. What's the difference between Commander Shepard and a Krogan? One is an unstoppable juggernaut of head-butting destruction. And the other doesn't have a smart-ass comm officer to keep him in line. Ooh, that's even better than the number of testicles punchline. I'm glad you didn't run back to the lab, trainer. Thanks. So, rematch? Hell yes. Now win. Damn it. <laughs> trainer, can you send up Diana Allers? She wants to talk to me. She's on her way, Commander. She sounded like she was in my apartment. I'm sure you've got a million questions. I narrowed it down to 40. Let's 40. see how you do with the top 10. Oh god. Commander, the last time most of us heard about Geth, they were attacking the Citadel alongside Sovereign. Yes, and you should know that was a minority of the Geth. Most of them are not hostile to organics. Mm -hmm. Is that how you explain that they're allies? And no longer dangerous robots who stick humans on spikes? What you have to realize is that despite their reputation, most Geth are not inherently violent. The Quarians attacked them. The Geth fought back in self-defense, just like any organic would. Now that we've freed the Geth from Reaper control, they'll want payback for their enslavement. But you're going to take an army of synthetics to fight Reapers with untold hacking abilities. What's keeping the Reapers from reprogramming the Geth like they have before? The Geth are extremely intelligent, and they put incredible thought into solving this problem. They're not gonna turn again. I bet my life on it. Now here's a question from a Batarian on Omega. Commander Shepard, if the mass relays can be destroyed... What? So did I miss anything? Do you have any questions? You gonna go file your story now? Well, if you don't mind... <laughs> go tell the galaxy what we've done. They could use some good news. Aye, aye, Commander. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, I can't hear you. Cool. James. James, <laughs> I've got some time if you want to talk. And about I'm just it. inviting everyone today. <laughs> How you doing? Hey, man, how's it going? Good, James. You? Good, good. What you looking at? Wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. <laughs> you just come up here to make fun of your commander? <laughs> Sorry, loco. I guess... Maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Shoot. What did you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or did you think about it before accepting? The N7 program is a big deal, but it's also a big commitment. I hear that. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments. And they expect the best in return. Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Well, even all the shit that's going on, somebody somewhere managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. 
You don't sound too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier is the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. Hell, I'd have kicked my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone. And they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. You mentioned that before. What went wrong? What didn't go wrong? We were out on patrol, checking on some strange readings, and the collectors hit. But they hit the colony first. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted, including our CO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge? Yeah. We laid low for a bit, waiting for a chance to strike, but before we could, we were betrayed. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the Collectors. I had no choice. I killed him and destroyed the Collector ship. But it got ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. Not exactly a textbook operation. You can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation. And if you were promoted, then something must have gone, right? Sure, but... If you'd saved them all, would things have worked out better? I... I don't know. I don't think so. The right choice is usually not the easy one. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yeah. That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. There's not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed, either themselves or their soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? Assuming we survive this, that's a no-brainer. <laughs> You're a damn good soldier, Vega. Don't waste that opportunity. I'll think about it. Seriously. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Don't worry. Of course not. <laughs> Gracias. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here are it's a little too soft for me. The bed's a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Thanks again, Loco. Anytime. Now, okay, it is time to return to the Citadel. I feel like we've gotten a lot. I'm feeling good. Of course. We can have ships at the colony in 36 hours. Do you need medical support? No, evacuating the colony is more than enough. Thank you, Ambassador. Ambassador? I'm coordinating actions for the fleet while we're here. Evacuating colonies, bolstering Turian defense lines. Huh. I think it was right here. Three years ago to the day. What? This was where Saren's assassins fired at me. Oh God. I'd just gotten to the Citadel. I didn't think I needed my barriers up. My mistake. And that's when... I'm Saren had assassins after you? Right. I disabled the Geth mm -hmm. and found that recording that proved he was working with the Reapers. Yeah. I went to Ilium and tried to inform the authorities, but Saren's mercenaries attacked me. I barely escaped. I stowed away on a Turian freighter and came out here. I thought I was safe. You never told me about this. How bad was it? Got me in the arm. They used polonium rounds. I was running a fever in minutes. It was the first time I'd been really hurt on my pilgrimage. I ran to the council embassy, asked for protection, offered the data on Seren. The Turian mm -hmm. clerk called me Soot Rat. He threatened to have me tossed off the station if I didn't leave. I wonder how long this was before. I wish that clerk could see you now. I know. He just did. Oh. That was him back there. I don't think he remembers me. And you're assisting him in spite of that? This war is too big for old grudges. You showed me that. We are at peace with the Geth. Mm -hmm. I can't waste my time on a Turian who I made me angry. Agree. Besides, it all worked out. I made it to the wards. You found me. Happy ending. <laughs> and now the Turians will get the aid they desperately need. I nearly reminded him who I was. Made him apologize, rubbed his nose in it. Maybe he and I both needed to grow up a little. The difference is that you helped when it counted. Thanks, Shepard. So did you. Everything looks so peaceful. 
In here, you can almost forget about the war. Windows just like completely shattered next to her. <laughs> I never get tired of looking at this place. Aww. I never thought they'd let a quarry in up here. The Presidium is so beautiful. Everything looks so peaceful. Aww. Was attacked, but Alliance forces were able to evacuate all the students. Hello, Shepard. Hi. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. needed to give stuff to people. Like I found a lot, but no one's taking anything from me. Oh. Hello. I've recovered the obelisk of Karza. It's waiting for you in Bay D24. You have? It's amazing. Thank you, Commander. No problem. That's going to help immeasurably with some very sensitive work. Nice. How's the translation going? Really? Excellent. Well, hopefully it unlocks more intel from the archive. Looks like it's going well. Hello. I pulled this from a Geth jamming tower. Maybe you can use it. How the hell did you? <laughs> Tech like this? I don't care where it came from. I'll have my people run with this. If the war comes back here, maybe we can save more lives. Hell yeah. Thanks again. If we can get it working, this jamming tech can make this place a lot safer. Now arriving at Puerta Memorial Hospital. Excuse me, I recovered the rings of a loon. They're waiting in Bay D24. That's wonderful, thank you. My people will treat this miraculous find as a call to support their local hospitals. No problem. I came across this treatment plant at a chemical plant. Could it help? Treatment? What is... I've never seen this kind of process before. Huh. Probably experimental. It's a long shot, but let's run some tests and see if it might work for our patient. Sounds good. Hell yeah, look at this. It is completion day. <laughs> Uh -huh. I found a Prothean Sphere on Gehinnom. Contact the Alliance and tell them Commander Shepard asked them to pay you for it. Yes, thank you. I'll call them right now. And now you can get the food you need. Thank you. I've gotten food for my family. And for some of the others who were trapped here too. No problem. James, where are you? Cargo hold C. What does that mean? In seven. Oh, James. Oh, there you are. What you doing? James? You need a tattoo. <laughs> Commander, what brings you down here? I was about to ask you that. Well, after our little chat, ow, I made up my mind. I'm going to join the N7 program. And you're celebrating by getting a tattoo? <laughs> sort of. See, there's no official channels to go through right now. So, I guess this is my way of making it official. <laughs> Technically, I'm just an N7 recruit, but, you know, I figure with you as my training officer, how could I fail? <laughs> right? I'm flattered, but I wouldn't exactly say I'm training you. Not officially. But what the hell is in this goddamn war? I'm just saying, whether you like it or not, you're my direct superior and you're N7. So I take my lead from you. And you know, I'll take whatever advice you got. Really? <laughs> sure. The good advice. <laughs> well, they wouldn't ask you if they didn't think you could handle it. Here's hoping. But the real work starts now. Uh-huh. I know it seems like I don't take things seriously. 
But when I commit to something, I fully commit. Clearly. Hey, I won't let you down. The only person you need to prove yourself to is the one standing in the mirror every morning. Good point. You know, that's gonna sting for a few days. You gonna be ready for duty? Well, I'm not looking forward to slapping my armor back on, but I'm always ready. Glad to hear it. Ah! Too careful! <laughs> I've never had gotten a tattoo. Is it? How painful is it? Now arriving at ward level purgatory. I recovered the code of the ancients from Dakuna. It's waiting for you in bay D24. With shock and joy. Really, <laughs> this is wonderful news. Thank you, human. Sincerely, this will greatly aid our people. No problem. With sincere gratitude. Thank you, human. <laughs> How's the head? Good. Concussion's almost gone. Good. When I heard you were injured. Look at this. We've done so much cleanup. <laughs> I still need to find this. <laughs> Damn it. And this one. Hey, you know what? Let's check this. After heavy fighting, Goliath's forces were able Perhaps to. Perhaps you could send the girl to your side of the family. Are you kidding? My family disowned me when I married him. Sorry, Commander. Do I have anything for you? Nothing yet. You're the one that needs the Reaper codes, don't you? Or something. I can't remember what he needs. Civilization consultant authorization. An importer exporter with past convictions for smuggling has offered to gather uh, to gather critical supplies for Alliance forces and civilian medical emergencies. CSEC believes the offer is in good faith and has refused to make an arrest, but is legally restricted from accepting her offer without Spectre authorization. Bam. Captain Riley, an, as an N7 operative, has been nominated for a commendation of valor for her actions at Sion. Approval from Inspector would fast track the award process. See, I'm also worried about the possibility of self inflicted harm. Because she's just so distressed. I just don't know. That one's so hard. <laughs> I can't decide. I'm so invested in that one. <laughs> I don't want her to hurt herself. <laughs> but what if it's protecting herself too? I don't know. I'll come back to it. I want all remaining files secured and marked for Tentron clearance only. Commander Shepard. Have you found something? We're continuing our investigation into Counselor Udina's activities. Nice. It's still not clear how he managed the coup attempt. However, I need to speak with you on another matter. Matters have taken a serious turn for the Asari Republics. We understand your Crucible is still missing an important component. The Catalyst, I believe you call oh. it. Do you, know Do you know where it is? Unfortunately, no. But we do have an artifact on our home world, Thessia. Oh? Classified at the highest levels. What is it? Suffice it to say, it may help you identify the catalyst. The artifact is in a temple located at these coordinates. A scientific team there will provide assistance. If this artifact is so important, why keep it hidden? Even our allies can have their own agenda. A balance of power exists in the galaxy that we don't wish to upset. The Reapers are doing that right now. And that's why I'm sharing this with you. I appreciate the help. It's for both our benefit. The homeworld has never been threatened before. Thessia has always been an oasis in a galaxy full of turmoil. The Reapers are about to change that. I'll do what I can. 
More lives depend on you than any soul should have to bear. You have my prayers. I've got this. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I am excited. I'm ready. Thessia. I want to learn more about this Kai Ling, though. Why are we not ending that? Oh, the Reaper code. Nice. Hell yeah. Urgently, human, I must speak to you on behalf of my people. Hi. What is it? Holding sorrow, Takuna, my home world, the Reapers have come. Holding sorrow, our warriors are under siege, but your forces can rescue them. Oh. Urgently, please, all the other races have turned us aside. Oh. How do your people fight? Proudly. With BI-assisted infantry, our soldiers carry heavy weapons into battle mounted on their backs. Mixed pride and shame, our enemies have called us living tanks, as well as names less flattering. I'll take the Normandy as soon as we have time. Aww. Relief. I will help you. Thank you, Commander. Small hope. Perhaps we can evacuate <laughs> some of our civilians when your forces arrive. Anxiously. I will remain here for news. Please hurry. Takuna burns. Oh, I'll do it. Don't worry. Are you the Asari? Are you the to? It says you're important. Maybe I need to come back. Excuse me. There we go. Now I can I'm Commander talk. Shepard. Mm. If you promise to be careful. I've got something for you. A Reaper code fragment? Yes, I can use this to try to predict their strategic processes. We might be able to save a few worlds with this, Commander. Thank no you. No problem. What do you want? <laughs> I'm stuck. No, I know what I said. Divert forces to the new coordinates. Trust me. We may not be able to stop the Reapers, but I think we can predict their movements now. Nice. Another day. Well, we've got a lot off our list, and I feel good to head to the next part. So, looks like we're going to Thessia in the next one, and I'm pretty excited for it. See you guys in that one. We did a lot today, and, and I'm pretty, pretty excited. Huge thanks to all my patrons, and have a nice night.